completely agree. Yeah, I like, I, like at the end of the day, we, you know, there ain't a big budget in this whole kind of UK hip hop thing. So, oh, it's, you do have to make do with what you, you know, with what you got. But I think there's got to be some thought behind it. Like, yeah. I really don't like rapping to the camera sort of videos, even though yeah. mine are like that. But there's not much else you can you do. Got, yeah, you know, you, know what I mean? you can't but really. The concepts are like are limited by budget. Yeah. Like you so you, the director's usually, like, yeah, but we just want a few shots of you rapping to the camera and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's not. Yeah, your no, style, but you gotta make do. Yeah, you gotta make do with it. So, but um, yeah, that so that came out about with the the Australian thing, and then um, uh, it was like a case of obviously I wanted to, um, you know, work with people out of there. I kind of saw the scene pretty similar to what we had, but say like, you know, in the earlier sort of, yeah, movie, like 97, yeah. 98, 99, yeah, yeah. 2000, where, you know, because for a while, like the the underground, like American stuff was selling more than, you know, that was real big yeah, here, like was, the yeah, Raucous yeah, and yeah. all that sort of Raucous era. Raucous. But then all of a sudden, you know, the, the UK stuff started selling more than that. We were like proud of our own shit. Yeah, there was a lot yeah, of good stuff yeah. coming out. And um, that was, you know, it was kind of, it felt like just before that point where, you know, the homegrown stuff was doing more, yeah. is what it felt like in Australia. Yeah, so okay, okay. I yeah. felt like, yeah, this is a like on the cusp of sign, because... Yeah, definitely. And now it's like that. Like, now the, the Aussie hip-hop scene is probably bigger than, you know, um, in terms of the underground stuff, anyway, yeah. it's probably bigger than anything else. They're more, they stick more with a lot of their homegrown talent. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because they can relate to it a lot more. Like, a, a lot of people would say... You know, we like the American stuff, but we prefer the English stuff because we can relate to what you're talking about. They're not really, yeah, yeah. like, mate, we don't really do all that bling stuff, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just throw another one on the barbie or something, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Shout to my husband. Yeah. They'll probably <laughs> lynch me for that one there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to lie to my head. That's how I did. This was, that was pretty, pretty spot on, like. <laughs> so, how would you say over the years, mm. uh, you know, UK and Australia, that the hip hop scene has developed and changed since you know from back in '98, Woo! like you know, ten years, like a decade, really. Like you know, you've been. I mean, a decade it, now, it's so. really hard to put it all into into words in, in in a sense, like because I find that it's changed in a lot of different ways. But yeah, like basically, I feel like um, you know, like and it's weird because it doesn't feel like it was ten years ago. It still feels yeah. like it's like only four or five years ago. You know what I mean? Because a lot goes on in between that time. But like it feels like now, you know, there's no before there used to be like a physical outlet. There used to be somewhere where we'd all go. You you could go there and guarantee you'll bump into somebody. Yeah. Like you'll see, yeah. you know, go to a re either Deal Wheel Records, Mr. Bongo, um, even go to Dark and Cold, or oh, you know, yeah. them days when there were certain stores that were just there, and it was like, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go there. I ain't got shit to do, so let me go down West End. I go hang outside Deal Real and see what's going on. I might meet a producer, I might meet a DJ, I might yeah, you might end up yeah. going to the studio from there or, you know, end up in a cipher or whatever it was. And that was because there were records there for people to buy. Like there was a there was like a you know, a kind of physical outlet where people would go in and check out what they wanted, you know, if they want to buy a new album or a new C D, new D V D or whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, related to hip hop. But now all of that's gone. Now all of that is like kind of it's moved over to the digital world where uh -huh. but because the digital world is so big even though it's all in one place like everyone's like you know everything's in one place it's so big it's so vast that not everybody knows where they should be going to where yeah, yeah. you know like now where's this virtual wo world where we can go and yeah. you know, we might bump into so and so and it's not the same thing not everybody from that era is like computer savvy they're not like bang on you know, yeah, you people know, still getting used that. to Yeah, no, it's <laughs> true. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's that, yeah, it's that kind of thing where a lot of people, and, and it's change. It's a big change in a way. As little as it seems, just because it's like, oh, it's a computer. It's a big change because you're changing the way you do things. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like now um, people are getting used to the fact that I can, I can record my vocals and email them. To yeah, see, so yeah. he could put in that wherever you know. So you could you like could hook quiet. up with someone without even meeting them. So yeah, you, you know, I know these people, track. you know, exactly. they're emailing across the Atlantic kind of thing, you know, mm. or emailing across the Mediterranean, whatever, whatever. But you know, it's guys I've never even spoken to, never spoken like, to, like you know, wouldn't know them if they met them in a the room. Yeah, but yeah exactly. Still they put a whole track together. Yeah, so, and it's, yeah. so you know, it's a whole different world from what it used to be. But I mean, I think that um, because 
it's so it's partly because of the change into being more of a digital thing. Like, don't get it twisted though. It's, it's still about promoting on the streets anyway. Yeah, people yeah. think everyone's got a computer, but not everyone. Not everyone. Does. Everyone's got access more or less, but not everyone's got one at home. So it ain't the same thing. Yeah. So you know, it's still. I think you still got to penetrate the streets, and it's still there anyway. But now, you know, it's like you, a whole other kind of. I don't know what to call it. There's a whole other lane now that you got to walk down, you know what yeah, I mean? And you, yeah. you got to be prepared for what goes on there. So it, it's changed quite a bit, but I think as long as people kind of keep their ear to the ground and, you know, just keep learning what's new and what's happening, you could kind of get there in the end, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously the MySpace is, now everyone's on the MySpace, yeah, the Facebook, Facebook and... Twitter in. Twitter in, yeah. 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 Fan it for yourself. <laughs> Natural Board Twitters. <laughs> Natural Board Twitters. Yeah, you, know. you could hit me on... Uh, what is it? Twitter.com slash Maestrogen. <laughs> M-Y-S-T-R-O-G-E-N. <laughs> Little plug. Yeah, we, we don't forget, mind. Boy. We don't mind. We don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so, you know, it's, it's, it's changed into, into this kind of world now, but I think it's just the case. People got to share the knowledge, for one. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that was missing anyway in the UK, is people, because everyone, no, I'm going to be the one to make it. Yeah, 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 no one wants, no one wants to share anyway. nothing. Yeah, and I've witnessed it firsthand, like, you know, yeah, people holding back from people. I think we, we need to get abolish that, get rid of that, because it ain't work for no one. And then on top of that, you know, really, you got to really just get into it, man. Like, yeah. it's, unfortunately, the digital world is definitely taking over. So whether you like it or not, it's best that you, st otherwise you're, you're going to be gone, man. you got to evolve with it, otherwise. You, <laughs> yeah, otherwise you know you're going to get left yeah, behind, the you know. the food chain, man. <laughs> You know it's I mean? a place you can't that afford to natural be. Natural selection could be a mother lover. <laughs> <laughs> you better start evolving. <laughs> but yeah. Nah, it's the truth. And especially seeing as that's the case, I think maybe that's the reason why there's all this animosity. And, like, you know, I'm going to make it up there. Uh, it's like, always been there regardless. Like, I mean, you know, I think it's always going to be there anyway because as long as people can see, you can... You know what I mean? You know, as long yeah, as there's a market industry, there's gonna be jealousy. Well. There's gonna be yeah. There's gonna be competitive things going on or whatever. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, you know, it, it's it's cool to just share that knowledge anyway. If you if you like regard your music as um, like you're not worried about other people regarding your music, like you know what you're doing is right and you, you know what you're doing can get you somewhere. Then sharing the knowledge shouldn't be that much of a bother yeah, to you yeah, in it. So you know. 